What's going on everybody? It's your boy Bro Wager, well, the boxing guru. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you've been here before. Thanks for coming back. So on ESPN, there's an article that Tim Bradley wrote is about 10 fights he wants to see happen. And one of the fights that he has on there is Andre Ward versus Canelo Alvarez. Now, Andre Ward has been retired for some time now and uh, doesn't seem to have expressed interest in coming back. But I just want him to come back because I, when Andre Ward was fighting, Andre Ward was one of my favorite fighters. Very skilled, fought everybody, you know, a, a Olympic gold medalist. But I felt like he had uh, the lawsuit with Dan Goosen, that he had an injury with his shoulder. He had a lot of gaps in his career. And I feel like he was never fully appreciated for how great he was. Part of that also had to do with that he fought on, in the Mayweather era. So a lot of people focused over there. And he wasn't a trash talker. But I feel like if he came back and, you know, had a couple tune-up fights and fought Canelo Alvarez, I feel like that would be his Big, big fight. Big event. Like, when he fought Carl Froch for the uh, uh, Super 6 uh, final, that was very entertaining, uh, you know, tournament. And that was a big fight. But it was, you know, it wasn't a sold-out arena. wasn't on pay-per-view. When he fought Kovalev, it was a big fight, sold-out arena, but didn't do too well on pay-per-view. And I felt like he never fully got the money and, and, and pay-per-view numbers and views that he should have. Now, if he was to fight Canelo Alvarez, who's currently the face of boxing right now, number one pound for pound, I feel like he will get his chance to stamp himself as one of the all-time greats. He's already an all-time great. He's already a first ballot Hall of Famer. But I feel like in 10, 15, 20 years, people will look back at him and just go, oh, yeah, he was a really great fighter, tough fighter, you know. But we won't mention him like one of the tops. And I feel like if he came back and beat Canelo Alvarez, he can put his name in with one of the all-time greats. Like, you know, listen, I have an argument to be better than Sugar Ray Leonard or, or, or you know, who or whoever. Even if they, you'll lose the argument, there'll be an argument nonetheless. This is a fight that I would love, love to see, especially the style matchup. You know, Canelo's a very... uh. He's aggressive but elusive at the same time. He he comes forward, uses a lot of head roll. And, you know, Andre Ward's more of like a come forward but defensive as well. Like he was very inside fighter, very pushing on the inside, making it a messy fight. And I would love to see how Canelo handles that. Canelo's one of the best fighters I've ever seen. And, I, uh, you know, an awkward fighter like Andre Ward coming on the inside, pushing you around, making you fight the way you don't want to fight, that would be just an amazing fight. I mean, again, if Andre Ward doesn't come back out of retirement, I won't hold it against him. You know, he has a family. His health is important to him. But, man, this will be a great fight. It will be a big fight. And it will be big money for both fighters, you know. Uh, I don't see why Andre Ward will, you know, get the short end of the stick here. There's not a lot of big, big fights for Canelo Alvarez at 175 or at 168. There's big fights, but not. it wouldn't be to this magnitude. You know, Andre Ward's been on ESPN working, announcing all the fights. Fans have been getting familiar with his face, familiar with his voice, you know. And, and I just feel like it would be just a, a great, great, fantastic fight. A fight that I would love, love to see. But I don't think we'll ever get it, but... Hey, you know, Andre Ward, if you're watching this video, just trust out. You got my money. You got my money on that pay-per-view if you, if you come back and you fight Canelo. This fight will actually remind me of uh, when uh, when Sugar Ray Leonard came back after a two-year layoff to fight Marvin Hagler, no tune-up, and beat Marvin Hagler. This will be his moment. This could be Andre Ward's moment. I wouldn't advise not taking a tune-up. But, you know, if that's the way he wants to go about it, then sure. But I I would advise take two, three tune-up fights, quick ones too, within like two months from each other, and then go for the big money, man. Like, you didn't take that much punishment throughout your career. And uh, so I don't think your health is too much of a concern as far as you coming back. But, again, that's not my call to make. All right, guys, that's my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the idea that I had, well, Tim Bradley's idea. 
Make sure you leave a comment what you thought of the video. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Twitter at underscore Broadway Joel. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.